Welcome to the tutorial for task 1. In this first task you will find and get to know your team members and you will organize yourselves as a virtual team. Make sure you take a look at the tips provided in this tutorial as well as in the details task description which you can download in the files section in the working group Hands-on Project 2015. You have one week to build up your team. Briefly said, you should get in personal contact with your team members, create a community group for your team and finally link to your team group in the working group Hands-on Project 2015. Please let the Hands-on Project team immediately know in case one of your team members drops out on short notice so that we can try to arrange for an adequate replacement. You should take some time to intensify and re-establish personal contact with your team members. So get in touch and check your availability, as it's important to know when every one of you has time to work on the project. The person in the team whose first name is the first alphabetically has the job of creating a close community group for the team and to recommend the group to the other team members as well as the hands-on project team. To create a community group, go to the section My Groups and click on Create Group. Fill out the form that appears now. Don't worry, it is possible to change all the data, like your group name or your group picture, later on. Don't forget to upload a description and a profile photo for the group and to assign the keyword or tag Hands-on Project 2015 so that the group will be frequently displayed in search results. Also, make sure you choose the setting My Approval required for membership so that only your team members and the hands-on project team can access your team's content. Click on Save Group to create your group. After all members have joined the group, you should choose a name for your team together. You should also decide which external chat tool you will use in addition to the forum of your team group and at which times you can all meet online. Think about who will take on which job within the team. For example, who will be the timekeeper, the coordinator? Use your team's group discussion forum on the alumni portal for your first exchange. Now you can decide on a team name and a team logo. Now you can decide on a team name and a team logo. After deciding on a team name, you should rename your group. It should have the same name as your team. As explained before, under Edit Group, you can edit and adjust your group's profile at any time. Choose a team logo, for example a suitable photo, and upload it as a group image. You might even want to get creative yourself. Finally, enter the link to your team group on the designated page on task 1 in the group Hands-on Project Praxis Project 2015.
Good luck and enjoy.